Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. In today's short video here, we're going to go through Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now is trading at $20,127. 24-hour volume here, we're down 25%. Market cap, we're up 1.14%. So heading over to the chart here on a four-hour time frame, we can see Bitcoin has actually dropped even further down, but most warning or alerting and concerning area is actually the price grazing at this bottom Bollinger Band for multiple candles. Normally it's just one or two and then we have a really nice pullback, but we've got it on multiple occasions here. One, two, three, four, and then consolidating sideways. So the consolidation sideways is basically a pause of the overall trend, primary or secondary trend. If we take a look at this platform right up here, again, price consolidated for four hours or intervals of four hour timeframes until it finally broke through an area of support roughly around 20 1800 fell back down and then consolidated sideways as well so price for bitcoin can continue to drop let's narrow in roughly around one hour time frame so in the one hour time frame again we can be able to see from the drop here from resistance coming down an area of support um, touching area of the support multiple times than actual resistance level However, we can always drop down our resistance line right here, which means that we're falling short um, essentially for Bitcoin in the price of the rejection of the resistance line. So if we take a look, we've got pointers one, two, three, and then four here. It's just a matter of time that we actually break through the resistance line or follow through the support line and do a continuation pattern itself as this is a brief pause. Normally with brief pauses, either in consolidation for price action sideways, it's normally a continuation phase or in rare cases, we actually see a break through the resistance and have a reversal. Now, if we look at the Bollinger Bands, what it's showing us is essentially it is narrowing, meaning lower volatility price again is going to move sideways from resistance to an area of support. If we take a look at some of these candlesticks at the very bottom here, we have majority of these candlesticks, especially these longer wicks that's found more than 50% and lower from our middle line to our support line. So we know that the strength is in the sellers itself and they're pushing the price even further. What we can see here is again, we've only got two touches on the resistance line and these lower wicks or higher wicks itself is lower than the compared to test of our resistance line. What we can also see too is that we're basically capped roughly around 62% until we can see the um, Bitcoin actually pull back on the RSI. So where I'm thinking price is going to go again is going to continue to actually consolidate sideways until we can find a breakout. Notice that the MACD line as well is getting increased um, momentum in these bars itself. So if we can find the increased momentum and essentially make bars closer to this in size, then we are ultimately going to be breaking through this resistance line here. If we narrow in, let's take a look at 15 minutes here. We've already got this candlestick. Again, the body itself is near the bottom. So we are going to pull back um, essentially in this one hour time frame if this continues itself and where we're going to be finding you know that area of retracement if we don't find that area of support in here is we're going to come back here to the 50 percent um, which is two thousand uh, twenty thousand and fourteen dollars and fourteen dollars we can see multiple candles bodies retracing around here but again we can see more support that we found on the 61 percent time frame so if we're not going to hold the 50 we're going to definitely come down to the 61 but definitely today watch out for this area um area of confluence especially especially in this consolidation sideways if we do lose out on this then bitcoin is going to fall down closer to the eighteen thousand. so that's my update video for Bitcoin, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.